All right, ladies, I know what you're thinking. You are going through this breakup or you just came out of a breakup or you've been single for far too long and you're probably sitting there wondering, when am I going to get this happy ending? Oh, not that kind of happy ending. What is wrong with you? Jeez, get out of my channel. It's not that type of party. All right, calm down. When I was in my 20s, I was really, really like bad at relationships. I depended entirely too much on guys. I would go out, I would drink excessively, I would party, I would club, I would do all the things that society tells us we should do for our love life. And if you're in that point, if you're in that season, then I just want you to know that first of all, truth number one is that there are no happy endings. You have to be faithful enough to know that you are in a season, but that season's not going to be long lasting. That's not the end all be all. I was in this bad season in my 20s, but I'll tell you what, when I decided to get my life together and I decided to learn what love actually meant and applied it into my life by embracing God's love and embracing love in myself, then I ultimately found my quote unquote happy ending. If you think that finding that man are gonna help you have that happy ending, they may help, but it's not gonna be the satisfying thing that's gonna cover multiple seasons, multiple years, multiple parts of your journey. Bear with me. Unless you love Disney movies as much as I do, otherwise, let's just chat. So Cinderella, the live action version, you know, the one with the blue, the real pretty blue dress with the butterflies and it lights up and it's real pretty, you know what I mean? That movie that has a message throughout the whole thing and it talks about being kind and having courage. She was always content, she was always happy in the fact that she had these two lessons that her mother taught her. If you just had the courage to say yes, take a risk, go on an adventure, to stop moping around, stop feeling sorry for yourself, stop feeling like, oh, because I don't have something, that means that I'm without in life. If you would just not focus on that and instead have the courage to do the things that are calling you already so that you can just experience something that you've never felt before, then imagine where life can take you. Imagine how you could feel at the end of every single day, knowing that you took that courage and you did something with it. Another thing is what if you were kind? What if you were so kind to everyone, including yourself, that love was just automatically drawn to you instead of you repelling it because of your bitterness or your fear that you're never gonna be loved again? How different would your life be? if you changed your mindset and you switched up your heart's attitude to reflect the courage and the kindness that Cinderella taught us so that we could someday meet our Prince Charming in return. Just throwing that out there. And if you don't know how to spot that love already in your life, then I have the perfect resource for you. I want you to go ahead and download my free seven day devotional. It's called Love Deep and it's gonna be your path to choosing and finding love in God, yourself, and Mr. Right. So you're gonna use that, you're gonna use your courage, you're gonna use your kindness, and you're gonna have so much love surrounding you that you're gonna wake up genuinely happy. Isn't that what we all want in the end anyways? It's not necessarily that we want a wedding or a marriage or just to have someone there. We just want what comes with that. We want to feel happy and fulfilled. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about love and faith and relationships, then I want you to go ahead and visit my blog at www.selinaalmodovar.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.